Welcome to another Unity tutorial guys. Um, you may have seen this in, the, in a few games, you may have seen the camera pan from one position to another where it might have been an end of a clip or you might be transitioning to one level to another but um, you know you can do this in Unity as well, it's relatively simple, I'm going to show you how to do it in this video so um, let's get cracking. Now, I've got a simple scene here, I've got the ultra detailed house I modelled in the previous video, I've got a cube and our camera is going to rotate or pan from um, this object to this object and uh, Unity's failed to initialize my headset for some reason, I don't know what that means, <laughs> okay um, anyway alright so I'm going to introduce you guys to another panel if you haven't used it before, it's called the animation panel it's here uh, under windows and animation um, we can move the hierarchy, so uh, let's try that again I'm going to make some space down here and um, yeah, I'm going to bring the animation panel in and put it down here just to save some time, all right? Um, and scroll out a bit because that's not very big. All right, guys. So uh, to begin with, we get our camera object, which is over here now. Okay, we're going to start it in this position. All right. So um, to use this, guys, we need to press the record button and then we make keyframes at certain points in the timeline. And at those keyframes, we move our camera to two positions, and then Unity automatically works out how to animate from point A to point B, etc. Okay, so um, what you can also do in the timeline is add events. Uh, events can call certain methods in the scripts you add to to your game object you're animating. So, for example, we can add a script to the camera and call a method anytime we want on the timeline. So. If you're in a if you're in a set sequence, you can fire off events. Okay, so that's a good way of using things. All right, so let's get let's get animating. So um, yeah, we're going to animate the camera's transform uh, attribute. So uh, we're going to press the record button. We're going to save our animation as I don't know intro. This is going to be the introduction. And as you can see, things go red to say to prove that we're uh, recording. Okay, so I'm going to add a keyframe right at the beginning. Oh, sorry guys, we've got to actually select the uh, what we want to animate, so uh, all the transform stuff. Um, at the keyframe at the beginning, and about five seconds in, just click anywhere on the timeline guys, five seconds in, we're going to add another keyframe. Alright, so now we're at this keyframe, we want to move the camera to where we want it to be. So uh, let's do that a bit, let's rotate it a bit, put it down, and move it up and back. So I want my camera to go here, you know, on five seconds. So if we scroll through, we can see it, it animates, but I want it to, to rotate in the opposite direction. It's rotating in the wrong direction. So uh, um, the rotation it's under is the Y rotation. Okay, it's rotating 180 degrees. If we want to make it go in the opposite direction, guys, just put a minus sign, minus 180. So if we do this again, it's rotating in the right direction. Okay, so... Uh, it's as simple as that. If you want to inverse something, just put a minus sign on it, all right? Okay, so it's as simple as that. That's how you animate. We can stop recording for a start, all right? And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you guys how the events work. So uh, let's set up a script. Create Z sharp. Uh, let's call this camera um, points. Let's say that camera points. Okay. Let's open it in Mono Develop. It's loading up. And that's all the that's all the animation timeline is timeline is guys. It's just a timeline. You put key key frames. You can put as many as you want. Rotate in different and move in different directions. You know scale. Um, there are a bunch of other uh, points you can do. Uh, so here we go. Here's Mono Develop. My laptop is very slow today. Sorry guys. <laughs> okay. Um, right. We don't need any of this. Let's just have a void uh, camera, camera point one, all right. And all we're going to do is log out a comment. Camera is now at point one. Save it out. Let's hop back to Unity. And um, yeah, let's let's put the script on our camera. So component scripts camera points, all right. So all we need to do now is go. To, I don't know I'm going to go halfway in the timeline click this button here to add an event 
All right, there it is, no function selected at the moment. We just click it once. If you double click, you can add another one. Um, camera point one, there we go, guys, as simple as that. Close this out. And then at 2 seconds 30, um, it will fire off that method, okay? So let's try it out. Let's stop recording for a start, all right? Remember to stop recording, all right? Um, and another thing, guys, the animation needs to be in here, okay? So uh, Oh, click this button here. Just put the animation in it. All right, so the animation's stored now. Um, I don't know why that's there. I'm going to remove that component. Don't need that. Um, remove that one as well. I think I was playing around with some scripts before this video, so uh, I deleted those scripts. That's why they don't exist anymore. All right. So um, all right, we got our script we just made. We got the animation. Let's see if it works. And about two and a half seconds, boom, camera's at point one, stops. All right, guys, so that's how we animate the camera. It's very, very easy to do in the uh, animation panel. You can add keyframes wherever you want in time to adjust the camera's movement, okay? You can animate a bunch of other stuff as well. I'm not going to go into it in this video, but um, color code it, add the events if you want to, if you want to fire off stuff in your scene. And uh, that's it, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. More Unity tutorials coming up. Okay, if you want to learn a bit more about Unity, if you want to brush up on your tips, uh, subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'll be sure to pump out more videos in the future. So uh, thanks for watching.